Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Just picking up right where we left off, going to pick up some firewood and get that uh, get that old meat cooked up. So we have some venison and I think uh, some other stuff that we've picked up along the way. And we just need to get a little bit, uh, a little bit of a fire going to, to cook it up so we don't end up starving to death or having that go rotten on us. And it's starting to turn, but it's middle of the night, it's freezing cold out here, and I'm paranoid as shit because I keep hearing... There's something walking around out here, and I think it might be a wolf, and I know there's a bear not too far away. So uh, I'm more than a little bit worried, and for good reason. I know we've had our fair share of encounters with wolves recently, and we're all out of bullets because we keep using them to shoot wolves. So, yeah. Let's get this fire going. I'm going to use up some of our... I'm going to use up an accelerant, as always, just to get this out of the way and get it done. There we go. Good, good. Fire! Got a couple sticks to burn, and our books, we'll just burn those too, because who needs books? Moldy venison, yeah, we've got moldy venison, we picked up off a, off of a dead uh, animal, holy shit, our fire's out already. Uh, wind came in, heavy wind came in. Heavy wind will burn your fire out, like rapid. Shit, and there's a wolf. I don't see the fucking door. Fuck. Let's just get in. Let's get in. Screw it. We'll come back out in the morning and we'll deal with it. Um, I don't want to deal with a wolf right now. Uh, oh well. You know what we got? Let's just go for a solid 10 hours sleep. Wake up in the morning, see what we got left in food, and try to get it cooked up. Because that is really disappointing. I'm really sad about that, but it sounds like... Damn, there's still a storm going on. Hmm... Alright, let's kill three hours just playing cards or doing whatever. Daylight's coming out, but it's still a storm. There. Storm has passed. So we've got some raw rabbit we need to, to eat up. We're gonna have a big breakfast of beans. Beans and sardines. That's uh, a good... Actually, no, we're not hungry anymore. Hmm, so I guess we don't need the sardines. We'll just drink up some water. And get back out there and get to cooking. Hopefully. Hopefully that wolf is gone. I wasted a flare on that damn thing. But uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to find the door. I kind of panicked. Like, where's the door? Where's the door? And then... Oh, right. It's right here. But I'd already lit in the flare. So... Here we are. Here's where we had the fire last night. I don't know where that wolf was. So I'm hoping that we can avoid him. Even though I have absolutely no idea where that thing is. I'm just going to kind of dance around pick up a few sticks. Hopefully not get eaten in the process. Uh, I'm not usually one to break up branches, but I don't want to stray too far right now. Uh, with animals about. There we go. There we go. Lots of firewood here. Alright. You know what, actually? Hmm. Maybe I'll come down. Let's see what's out here. Make sure the bear or something isn't right here. Ooh, that's a steep decline. Maybe we can edge our way down here. Let's see. Maybe we can go to one of these little fishing shacks to cook in. Yeah, let's run out for a fishing shack. Let's run out for this one straight out ahead of us and hope to shit we don't run into the bear. I have a feeling he's nearby, but I have no idea to be quite honest. And then we'll check out that building over there. That building looks cool. That looks like the place to be. So let's get in here. We'll cook. Cook up our old meats. Actually, you know what we should do before going out and checking out more buildings is go drop some of this stuff off because we're carrying too much already. As much as I want to just go and explore, we should get out there. Oh, look at that mountain range. So beautiful. All right, so we got our potbelly stove. Let's throw in some accelerant as always and get the fire going. Bam, got our fire running and we'll just throw in all our sticks. Get an hour of sticks in there cook up some of this venison and then we'll go drop this off in that car trunk and we'll go check on the status of that other meat that we threw in there too. Uh, it should be good. I'm pretty sure it works as a refrigerator but uh, not not 100% sure on it. Actually while we're here with this I'm gonna cook up as well a tin of coffee, a little cup of coffee and we'll drink that because it's early morning and we have it. And it's always a good thing to start your morning with in real life and in a video game. It's gonna slow us down and we're getting tired and it's gonna keep us warm. Not to mention, give us 110 calories somehow. 
So let's get back out there. Yeah, there's that wolf up here, there. Do you see that fucking thing? Right there. Right up there. I can't aim for shit with this controller, but you get the idea. In that general direction. So the gas station is right over here, I think. And we're gonna come up and uh, just drop off some stuff. And then run back out and go down this way. And I want to check out that house because it looks really cool. And I'll, we'll make our way down the whole highway eventually. Try to get all these buildings stockpiled. And then maybe if we find some bullets, we can focus on hunting and getting some pelts ready and doing all that stuff. Actually, I think I left a pelt in the car trunk. Which is really silly of me because I should have left it in the gas station to start uh, start the curing process. But we'll do that now. We'll go back and we'll pick that up and we'll go lay it down in the gas station. We'll start curing it and we'll start getting that uh, that ready so we can make it into, like, the deer, I think, make pants. The wolf is going to make a coat. And any rabbits that we catch, we'll make, uh, we'll make gloves. I don't remember. The deer, I think, makes boots as well. I think you can make boots or pants with it. Though I don't, don't entirely remember. I think we hit up this house. I hear stuff. Terrified right now, guys. I am terrified. Paranoid that I'm going to run into another wolf. Like I said, they're all over the place. They are all over the place out here. We've killed one and then we chased away like two or three afterwards. So we know there, you know, there's an abundance of wolves out here. I mean, we could survive off them if we had bullets. We could be eating these things and making coats and everything. I don't like fighting them without a without a rifle. I know I can let them tackle me and I can stab them and then go hunt them down after. But I don't know. It's it's not really worth it. Um, the amount of you know you lose like the the, uh, the condition on your clothing. It makes it's really bad. I mean, you fight a wolf, it rips up your clothes. You got to go spend hours fixing them, and eventually you're going to start running out of cloth, and something could always go wrong. So. I like to do my best just to avoid them in the first place, those types of fights. Uh, maybe one day we'll get a bow going and all that, but that day is not today. So, we've got our two pelts. Looks good. We'll start these in the curing process, and then we've got our, our guts that we need to start curing too. Those will be laying out there. And we've got our locker somewhere back here, and again, we're just going to throw... Everything in here, all our canned goods and all that good stuff in here. Keep uh, a few things on us. There we go. Lots and lots of goodies. Cooked rabbit. Salty crackers. Ooh, lots and lots of coffee. I'll keep this sardine can on me. And uh, we'll put away this meat. I, I know I should probably be putting this meat outside, but oh well. We still need to cook up the rest of what we have, too. Sir, oh, we can break this up by hand. It's going to take us an hour and a half to smash this little crate up by hand, but... You know what? That's firewood. We can cook on that. We can cook on that. So now that we've got some firewood, we rip up this old cardboard box, too. Oh, that's tinder plugs. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, three tinder plugs out of that old box. So now, we can just go to this old fire barrel and get a fire rocking. Excellent. Let's reclaim wood adds quite a lot. So we've got a lot of meat to cook up. We'll cook this stuff. We'll get it all piled up. You know what, the day is kind of getting late, so I might call it a night here and spend the, night, the rest of the day at base camp here. Maybe search around the rest of this place, look through the cupboards, and see what else we have laying around. And then we'll start off in the morning. Because, yeah, there's six hours of daylight left by the time we're done cooking this, and we're already tired and thirsty and hungry. And, uh, yeah, we're down to five already. So, yeah, I think we'll spend the night here. It's not the worst place. Oh, wow, cooking up this food takes a while. Might need another piece of wood in there. Just to make sure that we make it. There, got lots and lots of food. Hopefully we're going to level up our cooking soon. How is that coming along? Been cooking a lot. Still only, like, barely into level 2. Alright, so let's go dump this stuff off in our, in our meat locker over here. Food locker. Junk locker, whatever you want to call it. 
I'll keep one piece on me because it's going to be food in the morning probably. And actually I'm going to take a thing of coffee too. Just one. Just for the morning. Let's see, where is that stuff? I know I threw in, yeah, we threw in a lot of coffee. So we'll take enough for a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, we could break this stuff down too. Ooh, that's really good. That's a lot of metal. Later on you need that metal. I know that seems like a waste right now, but you can make fishing hooks and all kinds of stuff out of that. So that's always good to have. I'm going to throw that over here in this drawer. Metal bits. Metal bits will go in here. Because that's where we're going to need it, the crafting area. This is a workbench. We can build stuff over here. Uh, lots of stuff that we can do with that. Uh, anything in this workbench? Check out some of these drawers. Maybe we'll find a bullet. I doubt it, but ooh, an arrow shaft. Arrow shafts are good. And some cured leather. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll throw it in that drawer. We'll throw it in our crafting goods drawer. Anyways, and... More jerry cans I don't need right now. It's good that it's there, but I don't need it. Pry bar I don't really need. And fishing hook. Not bad. We got a lot of them already. I meant to go fishing yesterday, didn't I? Another hacksaw. Mostly stuff that we already have. Another flare. The amount of wolves out here, I'm not going to say no to flares, though. So that was kind of uneventful. Not going to lie. An extra pry bar. I'll throw that in here for now. And our arrow shaft. I'll throw in some of the fishing tackles. An extra flare I'll throw in there too. Actually, we don't need all these sewing kits on us either, really. And this cured leather. Not going to have. I'm not going to carry that around with me everywhere. Got all these file cabinets still. Probably soda or snacks in here. Yeah, there's usually soda and snacks in these things. I don't know why. Uh, but these things seem to spawn those types of things. They never seem to spawn books or, you know, things that would make sense to spawn in there. Those are usually really good places to find something to eat. Actually, I don't think I've ever found a book in a file cabinet. You know, I'd think it would be books and newspapers and things that you could light on fire. It's always cans of soda. Oops. Let's see. Nothing, nothing. We found a can of soda in the one already. A granola bar. See, there's no books, there's no newspapers, matches, things that don't really make any sense. Herbal tea, and nothing. Oh well. There's a book here. I know, some of this stuff, it gets kind of boring, you're just really looking for gear in a lot of these drawers, it takes some time, but it's super worth it. I mean, you need to, you need to at some point come through and, and do all this lockers that we haven't checked out yet. Usually the locked ones have something have the best stuff in them. Insulated boots. And come on bullet. Come on, one bullet. Come on, I just need one bullet. Ugh. Energy bar. Just junk, man. Yeah, our boots are better. Don't need it. Oh well. Ooh, what's this under here? Oh, it's that empty can. Right, don't need it. Um, got an hour of daylight left. I'm gonna waste that and just smash up this old cabinet, this old drawer. Again, toss all the extra scraps of metal right in here. And then that day we won't, one day when we actually need these, we won't need to go through everything and figure out, you know, what we're gonna break apart for metal. We'll just have it ready and we can craft with it when we need it. Um, let's drink and sleep though. Oh, we need to eat real bad too. Real bad. Old granola bars and old stuff like that. That's good breakfast. There we go. There we go. Alright, so let's go to sleep for the next 10 hours and then we'll sort out our food and all that stuff in the morning and get, a, get an early start on the day. There. All right, so we're on day 12. We're not doing too bad. This stuff is curing 17%, 13%. I guess the deer hide goes a little bit quicker. Um, let's get some breakfast out of here. I'm gonna store all the light food and I'm gonna take out some of the heavier stuff. The stuff that's good to eat at base camp. Like I was saying, like cans of beans and stuff. Stuff you don't wanna carry around with you. 
So we'll eat up these beans and uh, if we need more food we'll eat the biscuits, but it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. So, there we go. Almost out of water, so good thing we put some away in here. So now we have it. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. Got a little bit confused with the controls for just a second there. We'll take all this water with us. Was there still some in there? Did I see more in there? I think I did. Oh yeah, there is more. There's another sure leader. And what are we carrying that's weighing us down so much right now? Probably firewood. Firewood is probably a big one. I don't need all this newspaper. Throw some of this on the ground for now. Yeah, firewood's not a huge one, but it is one. We don't need this antiseptic. That can go into... There's a first aid kit in here. I'm going to use that. I guess we have to search it first. There. So let's throw in some of our extra med kit stuff. Antiseptic. And we've got a lot of pills. We'll throw half of them in here. It's just item organization. That's a big thing with this game is organizing all of your stuff. You just build up so much stuff in this game and you need to organize it all. There. And how do we... Do we got extra tools something? No. I don't know. I don't know what's weighing us down so much. That firewood isn't helping, but it's certainly not all of it. I have absolutely no idea. Probably the fact that we have just so many tools and all that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw some of the tools that I'm not going to need on the ground. Now, I don't want to not bring the rifle with me, but I won't bring this hacksaw with me. I don't need it. Um, I don't need to carry the rifle cleaning kit with me. Or this. Or the tools. That can all stay. That can all just stay on the ground. And we'll light a fire. Probably some of that accelerant that we're carrying around is a bit heavy too. Go get a coffee and then we'll we'll head out. Oh, and we'll throw the fucking firewood on the ground too, won't we? There. There we go. Drink up our coffee and now we're ready to go. I'm for real this time. For real, we can go now. There we go. Can we go at this door? No, we can't. Alright. So today we're going to be going down the highway if we don't die to wolves. We'll just be walking right down that highway, seeing what there is to see. And uh, we've got a fairly good start in the morning. We're a little bit behind schedule. Man. This place scares me. Leaving here scares me. All right, let's just run. Run for it. Run down that highway. What? Sticks. Why am I picking up more firewood? I can't help myself. I just have the natural like instinct to just start hoarding garbage. Keep going, keep going. Maybe I'll get out on the ice. Less likely to run into a wolf out here. Yeah, it's colder. Or more exposed, whatever, but at least I can see what's directly around me. I, biggest fear right now is just a wolf coming out of absolutely nowhere. Really good looking map. Right, so I think that uh, the house I wanted to check out should be up here. It's a ways down this highway. Doesn't seem to be any wolves. Maybe we'll be safe going back out on the water. Or out on the road, off the water. It feels like negative 14 on this thing. Jesus Christ, eh? What was that? What was that? My paranoia, that's all. <sighs> wow. It's very windy. Like I said, it feels like negative 14. It's like a lot of that's wind. Uh, once we step in behind this rock, it feels like negative 7. So yeah, it's not so much the air temperature. A lot of that is just the wind. 
which is real. Like if you've ever been outside in the freezing cold temperature, when you're exposed to the wind, it feels a lot colder. Mm. So much food walking around over here. This looks like the kind of house that has a gun in it. This looks like the kind of house that would have a big supply of ammunition. And if we can find some ammunition, we can come outside and hunt some of this food. And we can make them into pants. We can make food pants. Food hide pants. We're just gonna run off for now. We don't even have a bow. We don't have any way to catch them. If there is a wolf nearby, I could at least maybe chase it into a wolf, but... Here we are at some cottages. I didn't realize that there was more than one here. Very cool. Very cool. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it here this episode. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned yet again. Um, I enjoy it. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments section. And if you like the video, please leave a like. I'm going to keep trying to put out videos like this. So if you're feeling it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.